What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Flo Shocker, the Dynasty Judge, out here with our Week 5 match of the Silk Cove Draft Associations. We're here for Week 5. We win this game, we have a good chance to get playoffs. If we lose this game, we have a win out and then have to try to make playoffs. But again, if I don't make playoffs in this league, it's not the end of the world. I'm going to try to have some fun, try to use some new mons, try to use some old favorites. Yeah, we're going to get to King, King King Bull, and uh, hopefully we can have some good matchup right here. So yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, let's just go ahead and get into this, guys. Uh, I'm going to try to keep my uh, intros to the battle kind of uh, quick and easy from now on. Stuff like that. I feel like I just jumping straight into the battles or more what you guys kind of want. Okay, he did not bring Darkrai. Interesting. Okay, so he did bring... Ow, no Kumbay! That's actually huge, and no Seismitoad. Interesting. Uh, we thought it was something I could have saw brought. Um, he does bring the Gengar, which was something I could have expected him to bring. But no Darkrai really surprises me here. And I do see the Militank, which also Militank was also another thing I was kind of expecting. Uh, so he definitely went good double normal here. So... 100% I am good here on... So... My Exoskeleton actually kind of just really wins here. Same with my Tilted Towers. It, they literally just win. Robin Hood looks incredibly good here. I just need... To either weaken down... My Dreidel looks really, really good here for weakness policy shenanigans. Uh, I'm going to lead off with my Rotom. He's going to lead off with Crobat. Uh, I'm just going to toss up a Thunder Wave right here. There is a good possibility he is Heal Bill Miltank. There is a good possibility he is Heal... He is, a. Uh... He does U-Turn. He is just so physical here. Alright, so... Rotom. Rose is a Crobat. Uh, standard U turn does 16 to 20 percent. Hit 15. He's a timid set. Alright, so it goes into the mill tank. I would have toxic that thing. Uh, I kind of see this as an opportunity to go. Um, uh, I think it's an opportunity to get myself skill in here. Uh, he is actually Thunder Wave himself, so that's actually a really good bring on his end here. I'm just going to Autotomize up here. Uh, really good bring on that one. Really good prediction on that one. And rocks. Okay, so this, this mill tank is not as scary as I was hoping it was going to be. Okay. I do have to Autotomize again. So my speed can go back up. I do get it off, which is good. He's going to Seismic Toss. Okay. Uh, I'm going to Flash Cannon and see how much damage this does here. It's 38%. Seismic Toss again. Uh, I just keep clicking Flash Cannon. There's no reason to do not. Uh, he has Mill Drain, which is unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to lose Silas Steel out. So this was definitely a Mill Tank set I was not expecting to see. Uh, I need to get a... And there's the para right there. That's very unfortunate here. So this Mill Tank was actually more of an annoyance that I actually thought it was going to be, actually. So that's, that is very unfortunate. Um... Definitely was not expecting this to be the set of Mill Tank, to be honest with you. But uh, if anything, it just proves that he can't do anything against my Rotom, which is really good. Um, it also means he can't touch Decidueye with this set, so that's really good as well. But that does mean he could be Sap Sifter, though. And I'm paralyzed, man. That's just... I think he's playing way too over-aggressive, because he's just losing... He's really just losing, um, there's the crit, and the middle drink right there, so let's think about this play here. Oh, I really wish I could recover off here, but I can't. So let's actually look at that Celestila damage for Stead Mill Tank. Uh, let's see if it's just standard defensive mill tank. Uh, 39 to 46. Did 41. That does look like standard. 
And unfortunately, it means we just got a bad roll on it. So, Sludge Blade does 50 to 59, which means we probably don't kill. Uh, I really don't want my Eternus to take this. Uh, Rotom doesn't do anything. Plato's Body Press ain't gonna do nothing. I mean, I could Trick Room. But that just invites in Gengar. Let's say Gengar comes in. If I get a plus two. Plus two. <sighs> I feel like he specs. Can Galay just kill this thing with his end headbutt? Uh, 38 to 45. How is that not... How does that not... I'm gonna clay doll here. I'm actually gonna trick room here. Now, the best thing to happen right now would him actually going out into the Weavile, actually. Um... I do know he can go for Gengar here. I do know that. Uh, that's not how I, I should have went. I should have went with something else on my Cell Seal. I really should have. I also was not expecting a Thunder Wave play right there from the Mill Tank. I was fully expecting Toxic. Well, it's all right. That's just something we had to just deal with, you know. Oh baby, that's what I needed. That's what I needed right there, baby. That's what we needed right there. That's what we needed right there. What would suck is if he is Sash. Let's go, baby. 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 Oh, that's bad. Iron defense again. All right, so that sucked. That is not exactly what I wanted. He is Sash. That sucks. He actually took my, uh... He made a smart play there. I got a trick room here. Hope I can live a hit. That was a really smart play right there. Oh! Oh, he threw! He subbed Gengar. Let's see what he does. Shadow Ball. Doesn't knock me out. Alright, now we gotta play mind games here. You can go into the Weavile here. Even though it's predictable, I gotta go for it. Man, pit pocket, dude. I was not expecting pit pocket. Uh, that was my smart play. I got my smart play again. All right, that's fine with me. I store power here again. Ah, uh, dude. He's annoying the heck out of me right now. He's really annoying annoying me right now. With this dumb Weavile. Please don't flinch me. He's got I you see SD, he's gotta have it. A body press. Yes! Awesome! All right, doesn't matter because I still die to Lucario. But it does actually open the door for some of my mons here. He's gonna bullet punch me. Stupid that it does kill me. I'm gonna go Mega Gallade here. I am going to Mega.
I'm gonna bulk up. This is a very risky play. I'm gonna bulk up again. I know he is going to be clicking. Oh, he choked. 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 Oh, man, he just choked that. He just choked that, I think. Oh, I think he just choked that. Oh, I think he just choked that. He should have thunder waved there. He should have thunder waved. Okay, my Eternatus now looks really, really good here. In comes Crobat. I should live any one hit from Crobat. Unless he's banded. He's not banded based off that damage. Mega Gallade, plus two. How much does my plus two Shadow Sneak do to him? 40 to 50. I don't kill. I have to Zen here. I can't Drain Punch because it's not going to do much. Come on. Come on, Gallade. Come on, Shadow. Come on, Father. Let's go. Okay. I think we win. Wait, that only did 51%. So he was definitely jolly. In comes Gengar. Here's where I reveal Shadow Sneak. Get the Gengar out of here, boys. Let's go. Does Mega Lucario kill me? Mega Lucario. Swords Dance plus two. Bull Punch 16 to 19. Meteor Mash is 36 to 43. He should not kill me. Unless he's mixed. If he's mixed, he kills me. Let's go! Let's go, Gallade! And I creep for this. GG. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Mega Galay, baby. Oh. Oh, my God. That was so scary. Mega Galay, baby. Proven why when the Dashing Sceptile dropped him, why he should not have dropped him. Let's go, baby. We pick up a very big victory right there. Oh, uh, I will not lie. What saved us there was the fact he did not click Thunder Wave on his mill tank. I think that was a big, big misplay on his end right there. I think him not clicking Thunder Wave when he could have, I think was a massive misplay right there. And that just opened up the door for us right there. Instead of going for Seismic Toss Chip, he should just click Thunder Wave. He clicks Thunder Wave. This game's completely different, and I think there's a good chance he wins the game. And I don't... The Lord, baby! Picking up five KOs! Actually, no, he picked up all six, didn't he? No. No, Claydol got the one kill on Weavile, and then we just got five kills with Gallade. Gallade, baby! Oh, I was so confident going with this mod when I picked it up in Ubers, dude. This, thing, this just goes to show you how good I can make Gallade rear. We went with a somewhat defensive, defensive offensive build this week with Bulk Up, and it paid off, man. So proud of us right here. So really big dip W there for us. But yeah, GG's to my man, King K. Bull. I just want to say thank you so much for allowing my transactions into this matchup. You didn't have to do that, but you did it anyway, so I thank you very much for that. Uh, I will not lie, I probably didn't have my transactions. I think there was a good chance you probably could have beaten me with your team. Your team is very scary. Uh, I was very very fortunate to get the winner there. But I definitely capitalized on the one misplay that I think you personally made right there. Was again, not clicking Thunder Wave when you had the opportunity with your middle tank. Uh, I don't know if you accidentally made a misclick or not. But if that was a misclick, I am incredibly sorry. But if that was actually you just clicking Seismic Toss Damage... Um, and, and I know why he also probably didn't want to go for the move because there was, again, the chance he could have definitely took the gamble of uh, missing or getting parried right there on his attack. So, again, it was definitely a, a, a very understandable play why he made probably then. But, again, if it was a misclick, I am so incredibly sorry. Very much sorry for that. But, yeah. GG's, though. We move now to 2 and 3. We keep our playoff host alive. So, that means if we lose next week, which is week 6, we technically will still have a chance, but it's going to have to be a win out and win pretty 4-0 or higher, or even 3 or higher. 
for the rest of the season. We picked up a big 4-0 W, though. Um, definitely really wish Claydol could have been the MVP of this, man. Pit Pocket Weavile, though, I'm not going to lie, did not even see that coming. Very, very smart bring on his end for that. Really, really good bring on his end. I was really scared of Sash. I wish I could have played the prediction game better. Gengar wouldn't have been less of an issue. And I could have just started body pressing everything out of my opponent's team as well. Uh, that one turn when we needed body press to go for, and we called it on that one, uh, which I definitely think it helped because it stopped any fake out chip from doing anything against us, which was really good there. So, but yeah, GG's to uh, King K. Bull. And I'll see you guys for next week where we get our body handed to us by rain. <laughs> but then next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button for Galade himself. And yeah, until next time, guys, peace.